Let's look at another scenario where the base is more than an acid. So if we have a base that is more than an acid and we mix them together, so this means that the base will be an excess in this case, will be an excess in this case, and the acid will be used up completely right where you are reacting an acid and base and you have more base than an acid that means the base will be an excess and the acid will be a limiting so let's say in this case this is where they neutralized this is the portion where they neutralize um, this is where uh, the acid is used up and completely and this is where the base is used up. So let's say in this case, this is where the neutralization, neutralization, um, neutralization occurred. This is when they neutralized. This is when they reacted, right? But remember, in a base, there will be a portion that is not going to react. So we call that portion is a what is an axis there. Guys, it's not going to sit on top and access there. This is just an, an example, right? So, guys, we conclude since base is more than an acid here and an excess is an acid, so we say this solution is a basic solution or an alkaline solution right so if this is a basic solution that means the concentration of oh minus will be greater than the concentration of h3o plus and the ph here the ph here that you get from this solution it must be greater than what Gre greater than seven right because when they say calculate the pH, your pH, it must be greater than 7 because it's a basic solution because more, more base than an acid in this case, right? So when you calculate the pH of the solution here, um, you must first get the OH and then you get the hydronium using um, this equation that is available on the formula sheet. So you use this equation there. You first need to get the what? The OH here of the excess there. And after getting the OH of an excess, you use the you get the hydronium ion using this equation. After getting the hydronium ion, you can calculate the what? The pH using the negative log H3O plus. Guys, alternatively, you can use the OH concentration to calculate the POH. The POH is negative log OH minus. And after that, you can use the formula. And um, this formula is not in the data sheet, this. Oh, and use the formula that says POH plus pH is equal to 14. So this formula is not in the data sheet as well. Having this pOH here, you can get the pH by saying pH is equal to 14 minus pOH. And then you get the pH of the solution there. Guys, I hope you get that. Um, you get that and it's very important to understand that when an axis here, it's a base. In the previous example that I've made, it's when an axis, it's an acid.